It's necessary because um, you've got uh, the resources or the capitals used by a company. You've got the communication with stakeholders and senior, senior management and the board has to learn and understand the needs, interests and expectations of the stakeholders. And all this requires to be integrated because the one impacts on the other. You cannot, as I've already said, you cannot isolate the financial from the non-financial. In fact, the new thinking is that it, is it really necessary to label these factors as financial and non-financial because you could have a so-called non-financial aspect, for example, if one is a beverage manufacturer and you don't have a long-term plan to conserve water, well, you're going to go out of business. So the non-financial, inverted commas, impacts absolutely on the financial. So that integrated thinking is critical uh, to develop what I call a quality integrated report. Otherwise, you find, and there are unfortunately some reports um, in existence at the moment, labeled annual integrated reports, but it's almost been a mindless sort of checklist on the content elements and general principles which con are contained in our framework. And um, maybe it's just my years of experience, when I read an integrated report, I can tell the quality of management just by the, what the content of the integrated report is. So integrated thinking is critical to an integrated report.